Hello Cancerians and welcome to your February 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. Now you're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Hey, and if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Cancerians, that's what we're going to do here now. <clears throat> we're going to look at three different sections of your life. Um, it's a bit easier to understand it when we actually separate it slightly. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of February 2023 for your very sign of, can of Cancer. Before we then finally, or finally, before we then move into uh, your emotional core. So we look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in. Um, maybe there's something you must change to attract. Uh, maybe there's um, things that you can release, all that sort of things will be explored in that section. Then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to your sign in the month of February 2023. Now, remember, these are general readings. They may not resonate with all of you. If they do, that's perfect. Um, so in any case, um, I just wanted to say this because obviously you're Cancerians. You're the only sign that is governed by the moon. So I urge you to watch the February 2023 um, full moon reading here on that channel um, because obviously you are governed by the moon and in February the moon will sit in the only sign that is actually governed by the sun. So, there, so that means if there is any opposition to the energy that that brings, Cancerians by default you will feel it the most. But I'm not going to give any more away, just be aware um, that there's a video out there that I, that I recorded about the full moon um, February, in February 2023 and um, I urge you um, to watch it, right? Are you ready? Now let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead. <laughs> ah yeah, just spoke about Leo and that's the card you have. Hope you can see this. So. Obviously, I just mentioned the full moon being in Leo, which also means if the incoming energy is Leo, which makes sense, uh, because obviously the full moon energy is the strongest energy that the months can hold, even though it doesn't hold it for the entire month. Now, you have Leo as your incoming energy, which means your overall energy. What the guides are saying to you is, you have no limits. Everybody has limits, right? But there are very few limits to what you can achieve this month provided you are determined and you are strong. What that means is if there's anything you really want to, to achieve or manifest, go for it and then ask yourself, am I actually doubting it? And if you do, then learn to override that doubt because in February, you don't need to have that doubt. And since the animal that is governed by the sun is Leo or the lion, which is obviously the, the, the animal that represents your overall energy for the entire month of February, my dear Cancerians, um, the message here is shine. So to a certain extent, uh, Cancerians, it is a bit of a self-esteem thing with you, <laughs> if that makes sense, because you have the number of five here. I don't know if you can see this. Right, so in the depiction, you have the number of five. So obviously that deck that I'm using um, has numbers and um, they correspond to a, a little booklet that is there. But there is no coincidence. So from a, num from a numerolo numerologically point of view, and I do numerology, um, every number on any depiction is still related to that energy because that's how the universe works. So five is the number of change. So, but it is not about fearing change. Actually, it's about bringing about change. So if this is the month where you feel I'm done being stuck, right? And I'm looking for change, then embrace it. Because the energy of that change is in the ether just as much as the energy of the of the sign of Leo is governing, if that makes sense, you know, or advising your entire sign for this month. So shine unapologetically, go for what you want, <clears throat> and please don't have self-doubt. It simply does not serve you. Okay? So that said, let's have a look at your emotional core, see what's going on. Now, interesting, <laughs> you have this guy here, Virgo. 
So every every star sign has certain um, traits and imprints. Um, so I don't want to talk too much about Virgo because it's not the entire energy here that that, that you come. But Virgo <clears throat> doesn't give in under stress for the most part. <clears throat> Virgos are quite cool, if that makes sense. And when it comes to your emotions, what I'm getting here, because you have the number six, see this? So the number six is the number of ether. And ether is also known as glue. So that means you're holding on to stuff. Whether or not it's working is a different matter. But the point is, that is actually wanted in February 2023 for your very sign. Because the message of that element of Virgo this month is digest. So what you're being asked is, is to look how are you feeling, what still sits inside me that old relationships have brought to you or um, what sits inside me that went wrong in the relationship I'm in and need to be redirected right and or how do I manifest something better well the reality is the universe will always send you a, a little bit of a better version because you're not taking the old one but if there's anything that needs to be triggered the new guy or the new lady uh, needs to have traits of the old person so that it triggers it Right? So remember, you always meet the same type of person until you learn your lessons. <clears throat> it is no different in love. So what I'm not getting for you is to be worried about any uh, health issues, any, any anything, because digesting here, or digest, is literally about your, your emotions. Sit with it. You know, allow yourself to, to, to really think about stuff. Yes, it might lower your, your vibration slightly, right? But the tendency that I'm getting here for Cancerians, and it is part of what Cancerians do, because you are the crab, and so you try to hide in crevices. And if you have another person there with you, you are less likely to hide. So you don't do super well as a Cancerian energy um, on your own. And all the guides are saying is as nice as this is, and there is no judgment from the universe, um, how many people you love in this lifetime. But understand it. If you... Should you change partners a lot? Or, or if you are a person that says, okay, that, that relationship ended and I'm going to throw myself into something else. Which is not necessarily wrong. But remember this. If you're coming out of a relationship and then you distract yourself with all sorts of things, are you really digesting what happened there? Are you really learning to let it go? Are you, you know, all that kind of stuff. So point is, be mindful of the things that have happened. And also, I have to say this the way I get it. Cancerians, stop deflecting. You're not always right, because nobody ever is. So this is also a time, without being super apologetic, to understand, okay, this has happened, and then this, this has happened before, and then this has happened. So you, you will see patterns. And patterns are also for you to look at, where, where am I going wrong? What am I doing that has a negative impact on my love life, which is what we talk about, right? So, energetically speaking, you have the lion um, as your over energy, which means that's going to be a strong month for you, which is also why the guides are saying, is since you are in a stronger energy, you know, take stock, but also allow yourself to be humble and understand that it takes two to tango and it takes two to argue. So, you know, own your shortcomings, if that makes sense. Okay, Cancerians. Now, finally, let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of February 2023. You have the 11th house. Right? Here you go. And the topic is community. With regards to opportunities, what doesn't really work well for you is when you are trying to go things alone without... Um, maybe asking people for their advice. You know, people give advice from their point of view. So I, I know it's not really the safest. But here, because you have community as the energy, and then you have the 11th house. 11 as such is a master number. So um, opportunities can come to you, provided that you're not doing anything with regards to work, where you're just on your own. You might be that person that wants to be on your own. So I'm not knocking it. If you work night shift and nobody else is around, that's what you do. Point here is, you will do better in anything to do with opportunities um, when you share it with others. 
So let's just say you, you wanted to travel and that opportunity shows up. Right. Um, so if you wanted to backpack, uh, you know, some mountain in in far flung Africa, it might not be so easy to find someone else to do it with you. <laughs> right. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. There may be forums where you can meet up with people that do that. So the point the guides are making is with regards to opportunities, opportunities and therefore growth will come to you much easier when you allow yourself to not experience it on your own. Cancerians, that was your reading for the month of February 2023. As said, um, the full moon this month is in Leo, which is the sun that is governed by uh, the sign that is governed by the sun, and you are the only sign that is governed by the moon. And the sun and the moon, they do have a lot of um, overlapping energies, but where they actually really overlap is where weather phenomena uh, uh, happen, you know, eclipses and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you affect one another. And you can expect that the full moon this month affects you more than any other sign because it is the opposite, if that makes sense, of your energy. That doesn't mean it's negative. Please watch the video that I recorded for, for the full moon um, in February 2023. Thank you so much. Remember, you like, subscribe and share. And maybe you want to leave a comment. Um, it, everything that you do with regards to subscribing and liking you know, doesn't take all that much time, but it does help me grow the channel because that's really what I want. Okay, thank you so much, Cancerians. See you later.